It all began in Detroit, Michigan, 1928, with the first police radio broadcasting station and a radio patrol car equipped like this, complete with roof antenna. It could only receive, it couldn't answer back. The technology has come a long way since, but the effectiveness of police radio is still dependent on how well the dispatcher and the patrol car officer cooperate and use this important tool for law enforcement. Patrol car radios differ a bit, but their operation is simple enough. There are a few common slip-ups. Keep the microphone a good two inches from your mouth to avoid distortion and talk across it at about an angle of 45 degrees so your breath won't hiss. 211, Sam John Edward 772. Don't forget to turn up the volume if you've had a reason to cut it down. And keep your squelch control adjusted right through your shift to clean up background noise. Record not on file, no 1029. Cars not available. 7L52104, Colorado and Pasadena. If there's a lot of noise around, or if the sound becomes too much, the microphone against your larynx will carry the message in your normal voice. Dodge dark, dark brown over brown, east brown on green from Los Robles. So much for how you say. Let's find the problems in what you say. I have a habit of giving out apparent code fours. As a dispatcher, I would like to know if it is a code four. It makes quite a difference. If you have an apparent, you don't know really if it, they need more assistance or not. You can have an officer run 26 subjects. They're uh, taking up more air time than necessary. They could either go to a red phone and call records for that. Hello, dispatcher? This is Officer Men. I'd like to run a 28 on four subjects uh, when ready to copy. Okay, uh, subject number one, last name of Jones. First name of Samuel. Well, officers, I realize sometimes the air is busy, but they'll go to frequency too sometimes and go traffic. Well, if the dispatcher's busy, she can't copy them. We'd like to know their location and when they're out of the car. 2H23, what is your location? 2H23, what is your location? 2H23, what is your location? Two H23, I'll be 1098, be a 459 residential report. Traffic was covered by another unit. Please repeat. It'll be 1098. It'll be a 459 residential report. Also, if they have been out of their car when they go back in service, 108, they should tell the dispatcher and listen for radio traffic and not cover other units that might have emergency traffic at that time. Just a couple minutes, listen to it. I would say also that the officers rush their mics, they mumble, they talk too fast. They, they, they have a problem, too, because they have to get out and make contact with the person. But if they can wait, you know, just a minute. A number of problems evolve daily between dispatchers and officers in the field. A common understanding of the problems will minimize the difficulties and help the overall efficiency of both departments involved. I prepared a list of the most common problems. Personality conflicts, dispatcher versus police officer. First of all, the most important is it affects the safety of the officer. Secondly, it affects the cooperation and the efficiency of the dispatcher. If you feel you've got a gripe against a dispatcher, don't argue on the air. Negative Take it up with the supervisor when you get back to the station. If it's a case of wrong information, it could well have come from the desk or someone else. I think somebody stole my car. Can you describe it for me? Yeah, it's a black Chevy, 72, four-door. Uh, license J JTM 361. Okay, if you'll excuse me a minute. 
The lack of field information is another problem. Unit 32, uh, citizen reports his black Chevrolet stolen. License number of John Tom Mary, 361. 32, 10 for the year, the car is a 1972, and it's a four-door. 472, four-door. Remember that the only way your dispatcher can fully understand a situation is if you radio in all important details. The same goes for information requests. Let the dispatcher know everything you need to know so she doesn't have to ask you questions. Brevity is an art. It's probably the hardest thing to acquire. Superfluous radio language complicates the situation. Code usage or a few well-chosen words will expedite it. Six ball five, suspect fleeing on foot, eastbound on Garvey, male white adult, be out with an injured party. Some departments prefer to use only a few of the better known codes, like the 10 code. Properly used, it can save valuable air time. 2H28, 10-4, uh, 10 1022 to 1017, that's your 1020. 2 28 10 4. Code usage sometimes is overplayed. An officer will say he's 10 6, which means busy. He doesn't say on what. It could be busy going out of the city. It could be busy on a traffic stop. It could be busy being totally away from the radio. Unit 6, Paul 5, what is your location? Unit 6, Paul 5, what is your location? Lengthy absences from your car without phoning or radioing in can mean tying up another unit to see if you're OK. Unit 6, Paul 5, acknowledge. Unit 6, Paul 5, acknowledge. And so can a minor accident you're involved in if you don't let the dispatcher know that it isn't serious and you don't need any emergency help. 2L31, can I have the numbers again on West Colorado for the burglary? Repeat requests are another common everyday problem. It results in an excessive amount of air time or another unit might have emergency traffic. You're simply getting a repeat of something that has been put out very clearly. You are not monitoring your radio. Get your phonetic alphabet down pat. A for Adam, B for boy, C for Charles, etc. To avoid all the wasted time and confusion that misspelling can cause. 2H23, I'd like to verify an address on a Gary A. Bennett. Driver's license number, Hall 771570. No current RO sold. 6973. But whatever, and whenever you're communicating, keep in mind the pressure the dispatchers can be under. What may seem to you to be a simple enough inquiry may require the radio operator to seek out several different sources for the information requested. And meanwhile, other calls can be demanding the operator's attention. So don't be impatient if you don't get your answer in a hurry. And for the same reason, don't make inquiries you can answer yourself, like finding the location of a street on a map yourself, instead of laying the job on the dispatcher. 2L31 in pursuit. We're now south on St. John, approaching Del Mar in excess of 50. And if you need assistance or a tactical interception on a hot chase, the dispatcher can't do much for you unless you keep reporting change of direction and naming streets and landmarks. We're now eastbound on Del Mar, approaching Pasadena. Eastbound on Del Mar, approaching Pasadena. We're now north on Pasadena from Del Mar. Eastbound on Pasadena from Del Mar. Six ball five, two vehicles at the location. One will be and really silver, important. Remember, your radio is really like a party line telephone shared by others. Make sure it's clear before you start broadcasting. Hold the mic button down for a second or so to allow the transmitter to reach peak out. Follow your department's procedures in requesting a vehicle make, giving a suspect's description or any other type of broadcast that has been standardized. It will get your answer a lot faster and more dependably. No warrants. 7 52 
where I'll be traffic. Fair Oak, South California. Proper use of the patrol car radio. It's not as easy as the ABCs, but they still apply. A for accuracy, B for brevity, C for courtesy. Put them together, and you've got the kind of radio teamwork that pays off. <laughs>